hello good morning or good afternoon or good evening depending on where you are in the world today i would like to share with you how to make a granny square and i'll use a simple stitch this is for beginners so if you'd like to join me just make sure you have your dk wool or whatever wool you have in stock and a crochet hook my crochet hook is 250. normally you'll find that if you buy wool and you buy crochet or on the ball of wool they will tell you what size needle uh, you should use with whatever uh, ball of wool you've got it's got also instructions on it like washing and how to take care of your product when after you've done it so let's cracking and to start with i like the uh, loop method method and also another tip i can share with you you know when you get a ball of wool I tend to start, start the middle so I don't remove the band but I put my finger inside there and try and find the center of my wool even though it comes out like that you will soon end up with a center and you can see already that's that so my center uh, the end bit of my wool is somewhere here which I'll find and you just have to uh, be gentle and find it there that way when you pull your wool you want tangle or the ball of wool won't be going round and round you avoid tangling so you just do that now you can see an end here this is an outside end if you tag it you see it's there i tend to take that because i don't eventually to tangle my wool so i take it and i just wrap it around on the outside because then you'll be covered by the this paper they've normally put to hold it all together so you have it like that so now you can put it in a handbag if you're walking somewhere or you put it in something and crochet without it you know moving about and tangling it just comes out just like that so that's one tip i normally do so anyway we'll get on with uh, crocheting to start this granny square you just do have to wrap around your finger like that and you use a crochet hook and hook the longer side which is that one all right or some people just use it with finger you just twist like that and you do that and you pull the center like so now because this is a loop i want this gap to be as big as possible so i will not pull tight i'll leave it like that now i will put my hook in there making sure i still have the loop there and i will do my first stitch my first stitch is a chain just to hold that loop up then i'll do another two more chains once i've done that i'll yarn over we're doing a treble uh, stitch uk so you go into the loop two out then the remaining two i'll repeat that again so like that like that and like that now when i'm counting my stitches the chain counted as a treble and so does that so when you count you say you have you have three trebles so you count this as a treble so i'll carry on i want to do six uh, nine more of these because i want 12 so we'll do another treble there that'll be one two three four including the chair five six seven eight nine ten eleven i'll put this a little bit because i don't want it to disappear eleven and i still have ample space in the middle to put sweet my stitches that's eleven now twelve 
now i'm happy i've got 12 i'll close that just by holding the center and pulling the shorter side this is tightly closed now then i will put my hook in the top of the first chain on there and slip stitch like so now before i go further this long strand is closer to the short so at this stage i tie them together without pulling too much because i don't want my stitch to be tight on the crochet hook that's why also i leave the crochet hook because if you take it out tying this you might come out this might come out the hook so now it's fast even there you can't move but it's the size i want it to be to do the second row so we can start shaping our uh, square we will need to do three more chains like so then we will have to divide these in sections of three remember we've done 12 uh, trebles our square needs to have four corners so we will do three stitches we will divide the three stitches so i'll do three trebles now what i tend to do instead of putting my two trebles here because this count as a treble i put i will put it behind here so that they look the same when i go around i'll show you when i do the second one so we'll start with this one but i will do two trebles here sort of going underneath but slightly back under the chain there like that one and two in the meantime the piece of wool that i've got there i'll try and lay it across so it's high hidden out of sight so with 12 uh, in the center we need to count one two three because four into 12 it's three so we need three trebles now we will do three trebles in that after counting there so we'll do three trebles in there like so but this will be a corner so i will add a chain and then put three more in the same the reason i put a, a chain it's so it looks different then next time if i'm crocheting faster i will remember that where the chain is that's my corner and i think it just makes it really obvious look as you go along because we will end up with similar side or three and three but it won't, it won't be a corner like here so we need to do another one so we count one two three then we will first of all do three trebles and I, as you can see i'm trying to hide that so i will do three this is my second and my third we'll put a chain then we will do another three trebles in the same place like so again we did a chain there a chain here so you can see already it's looking like it's forming corners become like a square one two three here then we go in here and we will do three trebles one chain and three trebles in the same place because that's our corner so now we're doing the second lot of trebles in the same so there we go now we are in our last one in our last one we did three and we went forward now you can see when i said to you we will do the two just like behind the chain because our other three we'll do them here and then you will cover up the chain a little bit so you look similar to that and that's why we did the way we did 
so we'll do three only here because we are back to our corner we started from a corner i like to start from a corner because you can easily hide it if you start somewhere like here you always show the chain so i'll put one chain there but i will go in the top of the chain and i will slip stitch like so so now i'm on the top of the chain so there's our corner our corner our corner and you can see it's beginning to look like a square i'll just do one more row with you so three chains because it changes slightly here then we'll do one treble at the beginning and the second one but plus the chain it sits as three trebles if you do three trebles here you will look bigger than all the other corners so you must remember the chain is counted as a treble so now we are on here this is not a corner this is a flat bit so we will do only three trebles here like so because they're just in the middle that's the straight bit straight bit then we were coming here which is a corner and that's what why i was putting a chain because if we put a chain here we will be you can get muddled up by the time you get here but having chains in a corner you always remind you that you are in the corner so i will do three trebles here then i will do a chain then do three more trebles in the same place like so again we are still maintaining our corner now you see here we have two gaps here we had one gap so as your project gets bigger this becomes there was zero here but we've ended up with one the next row will have two of these before you go to the corner which means that row after that you will have three of these dotted about between the corners so we'll carry on on the same row just you know the ones then in here it's not a corner so we only do three trebles like so and then we are in the corner again because there's a chain there we can remember it is a corner so we do three trebles and we will do a chain then we will do three more trebles like so now we're in the gap here on the straight bit and we will do just three trebles in the same place then we're back in the corner here then we will do three trebles in that chain space in the corner then we do a chain then we will do three more trebles that's two and now three we are on this straight bit here so we do one set of three trebles there together and we're back in the corner where we start with a chain and we will do our three 
variables to now three and then we do a chain and in the top of our chain at the beginning where we started where we're back where we started on that row we will slip stitch like so so that is how to do a granny square and with this you can keep going and keep going and it could be a square blanket if you want or you do smaller ones like these and also by creating a chain it means this one can attach to another square imagine you have four squares here so all their corners will have a chain and that's where they join they join in here to the to each other yes yeah, so that's that this is only three rows from the center one two three but if i was to carry on here i'll do three chains do two trebles where the chain is then do three trebles three trebles